Hey there everybody, Pet here, and welcome back to Pet Plays The Darkest Dungeon. Last time, Saivalgari, Silvermane, me a big booty, and a Nocturne took out the Gibbering Prophet once and for all. Love to see him go. Uh, 74,000 buckaroonies is not a lot, but uh, we're still going to go on a bigger mission, I think, today. Check it. We got Ray Ray, we got Dismas, we got Akrod, we got Michelle, they're all upgraded. Honestly, what else do you need? I feel like I'm gonna go with, uh... I'm gonna go with the Smite today. Maybe the Stunning Blow. Maybe the Bulwark. Maybe the Inspiring Cry. Is it smart to go without the Lance? Probably not. Uh, Dismas, yeah, shoots. We're gonna go with the Shoots combo. Ackroyd, nothing changes. Michelle, we could go with Illumination. It's a, this, it's a little tempting to go for that instead sometimes. I mean, it's a 50% damage buff. That's not even at max level either. You know? Could give up the stun for that. Try out something a little bit different. 60% 20 protection ups the torch by 10 and gives 10 accuracy. What? Anyway. We got a we got a thing. This guy looks like a an alternate universe leper got mad. It's a one room battle apparently. Alternate version of the leper, rotting king, made a pact with t higher beings to preserve his life. While he could not die from the disease, it continued to grow and consume him in both mind and flesh. Ray Ray, writ of execution. Ten percent damage, eight accuracy, ten percent extra crit if health enemy health is below. 40%. I feel like it's really good. Uh, Inspirational Crest, of course. Uh, extra free HP, yes, yes, yes. And you know what? Give me that extra damage on melee skills. Should work out well. Mm, Dismas, we don't really have much in the way of trinkets for you. Just a little bit of extra crit, which is nice. You know, don't get it twisted. Extra crit's always a good thing. Extra damage to range skills, which is most of what we use for the Grave Robber. Eight dodge and five crit. That's pretty good. 10 dodge, but stress if hit. 12 dodge and 10 accuracy. <laughs> I've been giving you regular trinkets yet, and you already got 60 dodge. Obviously, extra heals. Don't worry about the virtue chance. Okay, Ray Ray, back to you, buddy. We're going to give you the Thunder Blade for some straight up damage. We're going to give you. I, I did equip uh, Stunning Blow, right? Oh, I didn't level it up, though. Ooh. You almost caught me on that. It's not a big buff, but it is a buff. Okay. Which means it's worth giving them brass knucks. For that extra stun chance. And then uh, give me... Ooh, give me the brass bugle. That's good for stress relief. And it offsets the writ. And the brass knuckles. Nice. And then the carnival mask actually offsets it even more and gives some accuracy. Uh, Dismas. You're going to get the Eagle Eye Talisman, because someone's got to take the accuracy. You're taking Bloodstained Gamison. I feel like we could use more health in general. Mm, Stormcloak would mean that you get slapped less, which could be good. Also, I'm putting you in front. Uh, didn't forget it this time. Look, I'm not going to forget it every time, okay? Let's... I, I was almost going to give uh, Raynal the Callous Death Mark, but I don't think I need to. Since it is a one-room battle... I feel like... I think I have some freedom for how I want to build. The cloaks work? I don't know. Let's find out. If not, I just wasted like three trinket slots, but... What are you gonna do? Ackroyd. Yo, check it out. I want you to have speed. So, Stormcloak. I want you to have that health back, so... Uh, tempting Goblet. Plus 25% stress. And I don't have anything that can really offset that. So, really, we're kind of banking on getting... Okay, that, that offsets the health. 76 dodge. <laughs> oh, boy. It's it's good. <laughs> Wait, are you two interchangeable in your spots? No. What can you not do from the back? Just Shadow Fade. You could do everything. You know, I'm switching you two around as well. Why? Because then I can give Ackroyd the Prophet's Eye, which gives a little bit of stress resist, but also, 15 accuracy and 3 speed from the back. 
I mean, if I'm doing this right, and I don't know if I am, but I feel good about it, she's going to be dang near untouchable. And that's that's the plan. Test the prot and crit. I know you want to test your metal. We're going to test it, okay? The, the metal will be tested. Don't you worry. All right, Michelle. We're going to give you Grail? Yeah, let's give you Grail. Give you that, um... Give you that guard. And after that, I don't know. I guess I could give you the hammer and tongs so you could up prot. Actually, we could spread that around to everybody. That could be really good. I was kind of kidding originally, but no, this actually sounds good. Here, we'll throw, you, we'll throw this at you. Throw some accuracy, hopefully, at you. We'll see if that works. I don't know if it will. Uh, I have some speed back with the swift cloak. I know you lose move resist, and I wouldn't be surprised if this particular boss does a lot of movement. But I want the winch's pitcher as well. All right, let's see how this works out. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, no food. There's a chance to buy these, though, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to take too many risks here today. Maybe take one Aegis scale. In case we need it. While it may look a bit different now, remember that it was once a leper. Is it, we're fighting it in its throne room? Is that what I'm seeing? Rotting cultist. Hmm. Yo, uh, the, 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 I thought, I thought leprosy was supposed to make the things fall off. Yours seems to be making the things bigger. And I, what, two out of a thousand health? But if I hit it, it does negative health. All right. Well, I'm not hitting them. <laughs> I'm hitting you. Ignore stealth, guards, and prote and protection. Come on. Can't take damage from heroes. 100% of what would be dealt from heroes is converted to health. So I don't want to attack him as much as possible. I get that. That I'm picking up. I took the wrong guy, though. We're just going to go with slapbacks. It looks like he doesn't attack, though. Cult's chop. So he hurts his own dude. He killed his own dude. Uh, okay. Uh, give me illumination. She is stealthy, but she's illuminized. Please understand. He just chopped his own boots up. Why would he do this? Is that how that was? Is that how that first turn was supposed to go? He's got everything but bleed resist, it looks like. Also, dagger resist, apparently. He's lacking that. No, nah, he's also lacking bullet resist. Man, he should really work on these resistances. Wow, sword resist is out too. Maximum damage, by the way. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I knew that was coming eventually. I can't believe he ignores prod. What is this? Come on now. Perishing purge. That's a lot of damage. Didn't get the knockback. Did get... 15 extra accuracy, though. So every time I hit with this, we gain extra accuracy. Yeah, she's for the entire fight. Every time we hit with this, though, we get extra extra damage for the whole fight. So they're both tempting. She does do a lot of damage either way, so maybe I go with flashing daggers and just get five damage for every turn this fight lasts. We are doing a ton of damage to him. He's not quite at half health yet, but he is hurt. Not quite yet. Help. Yeah, it does a little too much damage. Also, it knocked them back, which doesn't surprise me. Oh, no, not you too. Hmm. How long does that, uh, those buffs last? Not in one battle. I know that's not the case. Alright. Well, Michelle's not in a good spot. Can't have her do her regular attack. Not from here. Okay, well, the buffs wore off. Confluence of skill and oh, frick. Uh, pass your turn. We need to move around. I mean, yeah, he has to move up. Uh-oh. I didn't remember who's guarding who! There for a minute. Oh my god, this guy does a ridiculous amount of damage. Not to mention the plus 30 accuracy. He does like the knock back, though. Which is notable. Um, okay. 
Ackroyd is all of our damage. And right now, that seems to be worth it. Uh, fuck! Can't believe you went before Reynald. Yes, I can. You got more speed. <laughs> and now, the true test. Well, this sucks. Fast or expire. I mean, maybe he'll knock back... No, he can't knock back Michelle. Michelle has... Who's guarding you again? Ackroyd. Yeah, it doesn't help that you have, like, 30 fucking accuracy. Jesus. That is a ridiculous amount. His hurt, though? Okay, 90 dodge finally did something for us. Holy crap. I never thought I'd see the day again. I don't know how our team is stress-free. I sure as hell am not right now. Fuck. Plus 30 dodge, though. No, but that's good. Pass your darn, pass your darn. Gotta do this first. You gotta do this first. Sedated. <laughs> close one. <laughs> yeah, that was a close one. He's like, <laughs> I almost died. Oof. So I'm starting to think maybe the strategy was to try to keep one of them alive. So that he would keep attacking them? Because that's kind that is kind of what his strategy is looking like it would have been. Like, you know what I'm saying? A time to perform beyond one's limits. Ugh. This turn order is all kinds of fucked up, man. Nobody's in the right spot. Oh my fucking god. Becoming unwound. Well, at this point, we might as well try to leave. Oh, we... Wait. Of course you must sacrifice somebody. Fuck you. God damn it. Thank you for not getting the knockback. We actually have a chance at a full team heal. Good damage. Honestly, if we survive one more round, I think we got this. Heck right. Okay. Knock him back. Knock him back. Yes! About to break. Never thought I'd be happy to see that. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. He's got 51 health. Ah, shit. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Okay, Ackroyd, of course, goes first. Here's the real choice. Uh... Do I go? No, I can't. I gotta go for this. I gotta get off that store. Death cannot be escaped, but it can be postponed. Knock back. Knock him back. Knock him back. Knock him back. Okay. We're gonna be fine. We're actually gonna be fine. We're like dancing around in no health, but I think our chances of survival are very high. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Minimum damage. Mm. You gotta run. <laughs> That's all you got. You went faster than this. I'm mad. I'm mad. That didn't even get the knockback. How do you have knockback resist? What the hell? Oh my god, Dismas, maximum damage. Perhaps the turning point. That maximum non-crit damage. Oh, that was close. Festering blade for the leper. Plus 30% damage to melee skills. On hit, chance to do three damage to self. Ignores, okay, it, there's a kit. Okay, these are all part of a kit. Even the harshest form of rot cannot decay the horrors of the mind. Ignores the stealth, guards, and prot at the cost of less healing received. Plus 50% damage. Hero was hit. Lose 3 HP. Okay. And then finally, that's the crown of corrosion, by the way. Necros Visage. One accuracy and two crit chance per 10% missing HP, or plus 10 and 20% on death's door. 
No stress healing from crits. This is okay, I guess. Could probably have a leper with over 100 health easily with a crown. Other than that, I mean, he, I guess he usually goes last anyway, so this would be all right. You know, if you do have 100 health, 3 HP is nothing. Especially if you can get a hold of a trinket that gives percentage healing or an ability that does percent. Oh, the Templar, actually. Uh, that mean 1,500 gold, 15,000, 1,500 would not have been a lot. And the Ancestor's Pistol. I mean, that's good stuff. Oh, freaking hell. <laughs> well, at least he doesn't have to eat now. Get, we're getting rid of that. Brave! Extra speed, less stress. That's amazing. Nearsighted. Ah, that's gotta go. That 100%. Ah, that has to go immediately. Curiosity, interest, and obsession. Mile markers on my road to damnation. Okay. Ray Ray, get rid of this. <laughs> Acroid, get rid of this. Thank you. Okay. We got time, and we got a Carnifex that needs killing. What do you say we try to kill it? Uh, let's bring, let's bring you lads back out. Yeah, dude. Sai, Silvermane, Mia, Nocturne. Can you take out a, a beast for me? He's got a totem. I'd say it's pretty great, but it's just fine. Uh, what are we going to need for this beast fight? I feel like Sacred Blade might be better than Zealous Ire this time around. Ooh, but the armor... Nah, the armor piercing's a big deal. Yeah, the armor piercing's a really big deal. Although... Nah, we need to heal, too. Reeling Reload. Uh, Tag and Bag did a lot for us, that other fight. Maybe we keep that. And try to stack it with the shots. Gotta remember, we're not gonna get shot refreshes, so we have two slug shots... Four wide shots, and then I think we go not with bind, and we get like probably slithering stab since it has more damage. We're gonna need to upgrade that. It looks like. Let's do that real quick. How you doing? More crit chance now too. Uh, and nocturne, you could use death wish from the back. We gotta take that instead. Okay. Mm, 50% self heal on use. A little bit extra stress on self, but, you know, clear stun gives a party wide restoration. Still seems pretty good. Still seems pretty good. Okay. Let's go, team! Oh, before I forget, fives. Rather you not die from the Crimson Curse while we're out here, so. Take this. And. Take this. That doesn't really do anything, but I want you to take it anyway, because, uh, why not? Why the heck not? Alright. Sai! Accuracy, debuff skill chance, win hit, bleed enemies. Yeah, I mean, the accuracy is well worth it by itself. Take away HP healed. Get extra damage and crit. That seems worth it. And I think that's good. Silver main. Uh, crits, baby crits. We need the crits. Yeah, crits, baby crits. Give me the crits. Uh, let's see. Plus three speed. Was hit. Mark target. Was hit. Buff damage. Yup. More shoot just. Yup. Stronger shoot just. And extra crit. I don't know if he counts as human, but let's get the extra crit at the very least. And Nocturne, of course, nothing. <laughs> Poor Nocturne. All right, speaking of... There's a hole here. Um, Here we go. Had to reorder everything. Two of the triggers are down here. One of them is up here. Rotting. Rot. I don't know why they are sorted that way. I, I, I just don't... Junia's head, please. This is what you need. Might actually be the only thing you need, but it's important. All right, Sai. We're going to build you for... Minus stress. Plus damage. And I think that's that that's that's the ticket. Here, here, take an eyeball for more accuracy so you can guarantee every hit. 
and then I, mean, I kind of want to just keep giving you damage. I, this is really like a scary thing to give you, but I still feel like it's a good thing to give. Here, have some more HP, just in case, just in case. You know, in case he hits you hard, have some damage reflection too. Silvermane! You're gonna take some tankiness as well. You're gonna take some damage. You already have a pretty good crit chance. You know, all things considered. We give you extra stress healing skills. I don't think we need to though. Give you the Aria box. And then some damage and crit. You know what? Some HP and dodge. I like that. Mia! Mia, why don't you take the Storm Cloak? And then give you some of that health back as well. Like right away. With a life crystal. Nice. I like it too. Uh we could give you more speed with the Ancestor's Pistol, but the only Well, actually no, you have mostly ranged attacks now that I think about it. Yeah, do that, do that. And then the bugle to offset that stress. I think that's good. I think that's good. Can't do the eye this time around. Simply because Mia has a high chance of moving. So it's not not the best move. In our repertoire. A little bit of speed and dodge for you. Uh, Nocturne, let's go ahead and give you the pitcher. And then give you Mora's head. So that you still have decent accuracy to go off of. I don't know if the cloak works. I don't know if the ring works. But that's accuracy, dodge, and protection if it does. So it's a little bit more dodge here. So we'll see. We shall find out together. In addition to that... I guess we'll find out if they all work. What the hell? Why not? And then, you know what? Extra debuff skill chance. Along with extra speed. Debuff skill chance is useful for, um... Well, for Grave Grasp, mainly. I think that counts as debuff. Death minus death blow dealt chance? Pretty sure that counts as debuff. Not 100% sure now, but... Anyway, let's take on the Karn effects if we can. Uh... Anthe, I don't remember. I mean, he could be different at this level, so who knows? Maybe I need all of these, you know? Why would I only take three when I have a party of four? Uh, take our Aegis scale. We didn't use it. We got it back, but we'll try using it again. The monster's enormous strength comes from Dismas's cracked tombstone. I'll be sure to let him know. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to hear about that. Hey, Dismas. Your deadness is powering up this guy. 57 health on the tombstones, 161 on the Carnifex. A Start cracking the tombstones. So, remember, Dismas gives him damage, Junia lets him heal, and Baristan gives him the prod. I don't think it's prod. I think it's, like, just straight-up damage resist. Um, now, as far as this goes, I feel like we just shoot him in the face, yeah? This one's slug shot. This one's slug shot. Okay. Five to seven. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little weak. I want to get rid of Dismas' tombstone. I want him to do less damage. I feel like that should be an easy early thing. And apparently... Oh, I was going to say, apparently they can be debuffed. Ow, the lightning. Thanks, Sans. That's yeah, fine. He just heals himself by 15. It is... Perfectly cromulent amount. Um, now nah, just go for the go for the damage. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of Baristons, and then he can heal himself all he wants. On oh, his fucking hell. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. That wasn't even a crit. What the fuck? Like, does anyone else do that much damage? A brilliant confluence of skill. Like, and on a purpose. regular fucking hit? Holy fucking shit, dude! Uh, oh, we got four of these left. Impressive. Jesus, mother McFuck. What's our stun chance? 140. 
I mean, it's not zero. A powerful blow. Nice. Good shit, Silverman. And improvement. Get this thing out of here. Jesus. Freaking Christ. I mean, we do have extra damage. You know, I... I did I did slightly forget about it? We do have extra damage received, but what is it like 25%? How much damage would you have to do? Anyway, we got that extra 30% blight skill chance. Limits. Oh boy, 120 versus 160. I mean that's not zero. Butcher's bite. Alright. Now that's at least damage we can we can work with for a while. Uh, we're going to aim after Baristan's tombstone next. Get that one out of there, and then we can actually do damage to him. And all he can do... I mean, not all he can do, but... One of the major things he'd be able to do is heal himself. Still, Jesus, that damage. Uh, start targeting him. He does have a lot of debuff resist. Unfortunately. Wow, Mia, you're having a lot of fun times in the front, aren't you? Nice. Okay, now we hit him. Now it's all in on Jerkman. Minimum damage. What a way to start. Oh, that still does 14. Yikes. It is 25% extra. I think that's the only thing giving him extra damage received, though. He took more on the damage reflection, which is good for us. Oh, good. Nocturne gets more heal back. Can you fucking not for a turn? Jesus! Just one turn of not? Sire, you can use all of your main abilities from the... Nope. Zealous Sire cannot be used from the third. Okay. I couldn't remember for sure. Stun chance is our best thing from Silvermane. It's a pretty solid stun chance, but I'd rather this... Oh, damn it. I'd rather us be in a different position. Honestly. Come on, Mia, move back. Back, back, back. The motherfuck? Nice crit. I mean, that worked out. Mia went slower than everybody else on the fucking battlefield. A dumb fucking stat, Speed is. Just a dumb stat handled dumbly. <laughs> dumbly, good word, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you, you're thinking with your brain now. Ooh. I do love them dumbly stat. Finally! A position I can work with. Uh, this is the less damage received, which doesn't really matter. But that's okay. That was solid damage. I can't complain about that getting these heals. I wonder if he's still gonna be like, attached to the freaking second position. He seems to be glued to it. Yup. This dude will not... I'm sorry, did you have... Did you just have a giggle? From Critten? D did that give you the yuck yucks? Huh? Is that a nice joke? That you had there? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, the double dodge. That's what we needed. Okay. Now I feel like we have the fight under wraps. Just that first fucking hit, though. Or was it the second? I don't remember. But even like 25% less than that. You know? Crit of 50, that's pretty good. Like four turns of build up, but we got it. Unforeseen, unforgiving. That's still a bunch of damage. I don't know if I can get over that. That was so much damage. Uh, extra forty percent extra damage, and twenty five percent less damage received if health is below twenty six percent. Could have fun with that if you wanted to. We got a lot of stress from this one. Sucks. Ooh. I actually could work with both Silvermane and Psy. That's pretty good. That sucks. Stop giving me this. God damn it. Back across hey. the sticks. Boatmen be damned. 
Who the fuck is Fitzherbert? Nah, did perish. Welcome back to the team. Is this like your third resurrection? <laughs> uh he's 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 been coming and going. It's at your own joke. Alright. Fives. Uh, Segway actually, you're like farther up here. And then fives. Yeah. Come down here. Give you a little bit of this. Give you a little bit of that. There you go. Oh, he's craving already. Well, dang it. Well, dang it. Okay. Silverman, you need to get rid of unforgettable notes. I, I mean, I think I, I think this is the second time you're having to get rid of this same ability. I could be wrong. Um, that's the only one that was really bad, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, the others need stress relief, so have some metatatus. All right. He doesn't want to go in here. How about you go in here? You, you go. You can gamble. Okay. Cool. Time to pick up a new hobby. There's a heart in case you want it, but that's gonna be it for this episode of Pet Plays: The Darkest Dungeon. Two that two boss battles, two optional boss battles. So the Rotten King. I honestly just wish I could rewind and see what happens if you left or if you hit the worshippers and made them last longer in the battle. Like. Is that supposed to be? Did I beat him on using the most difficult fighting strategy possible? Or would the other way have been harder? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll find out in season four, but it, it was an interesting fight. He did a, obviously did a ton of damage, but he seemed to like switching up your party order. Knowing that now, obviously a more flexible team would have been better. We would also need someone who could have been able to heal in almost every position, but you know that 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 was fine actually. That, that was fine. I still can't get over how much damage that Carnifex did on a single crit. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, obviously, once we took care of the tombstones, you know, it went down by quite a bit, and then it was just a kind of a well, it wasn't even really a battle of attrition. If he still had the power from Dismas of Stone, then it would have been a battle of attrition. But as is. Yeah, it kind of flipped it really quickly there. Stress mounted. Nothing we couldn't deal with, though. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. If you enjoyed it, likes, subscriptions. I appreciate it. And hopefully it's a sign that you appreciate it as well. I'll see you in the next video, everybody.